follow your guide I don't want to miss the amazing things you have planned for me Did I hear there's a mini golf planned for you? Yes, Ollie. My cousin is taking me today. But I don't know how to play. There is another who did not know what to do. He trusted God to help him through. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. And, uh, uh, oh, <laughs> hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Great to see you. Have you ever tried to fix something or build something or learn something, but you just didn't understand how to do it? Yep, me too. <laughs> I'm trying to fix this windmill, and I've never done this before. Well, today's story is all about following the plan even when you don't understand. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers up, little builders! Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers! 
You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about a man named Noah. <laughs> Noah loved and trusted God, even when no one else did. Noah always tried to do what God said and followed his plans. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat and to fill it with his family and two of every kind of animal in the world. <laughs> Wait, what? Noah, have you ever built a boat before? You haven't? Uh, Noah, do you think people are going to understand? You don't? Oh, do you still trust God, Noah? Yes! So Noah got to work following God's plans. Hmm. Now, what did God tell Noah to do first? Build a... <gasps> boat! That's right! And did God want it to be a big boat or a little boat? Oh, that's right, a big boat. Now stretch out your arms and show me how big you think God wanted the boat to be. Whoa, that's really big. Wow, okay, okay, you can put your arms down now. And you are right. God wanted the boat to be really big. Now let's help Noah build the boat. Now everyone, get out your pretend saws. Ready? Okay, now we're gonna saw back and forth on the count of three. Really fast. Ready? One, two, three. And stop. Woo! That was hard work. <laughs> Great job, little builders. Now Noah and his family worked and worked to build the boat, just like God told him to. Oh look, the boat is finished. Hooray, great job Noah. <laughs> Everyone clap for him. <laughs> that was hard work. Now that the boat is finished, what did God tell Noah to put in the boat? Let's listen. Huh? Animals? Here they come! Oh, ho, ho. what are these? Rabbits! Yes, he put rabbits in the boat. And what are these? Yes, penguins. They went in the boat. <laughs> and what are these? <sighs> Alligators! <laughs> and lions? And snakes? And monkeys? And flamingos? Wow! <laughs> Look at all of them! God sent two of every animal and put them in the boat with Noah and his family. And then God shut the door and it began to rain. Can you help me make it rain? Pat your legs like this. <laughs> Good. Well, it rained and it rained, and the whole earth was covered with water. Noah kept trusting God's plans. And you can too. You can always trust God's plans, even when you don't understand, or even when it's hard. You can trust God, because God has plans for you. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for you. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has plans for you? God has plans for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you later. 
Adiós. So there's your story, and it's all true. You can always trust God's plans, just like Noah did. Boom, boom. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Boom, boom. Noah didn't know how to build a really big boat, but he knew he could always trust God's plans. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Hey, I can always trust God's plans too. I'm off to go play. See you next time. Bye! For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.